time I ride by. I know you wonder why I'm so cool. Don't ask me, just do what you do. Okay. Meet me in the trail, it's going down. Meet me in the mall, it's going down. Meet me in the club, it's going down. Anywhere you meet me, guaranteed to go down. Meet me in the trail. What's up, you guys? So, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. Don't mind my busted. Don't mind. Don't mind it. Um. Oh my god. Okay, so it's like one in the morning, and it just dawned on me that some of you girls that support me and my lash brand. By the way, if you didn't know already, I have a lash brand. It's called the Notorious Lashes Shameless Plug. Completely shameless because I don't care. I'm plugging y'all. I'm giving y'all the, the baddest right here. So yeah, I have a lash line and I stay promoting them because they're bomb and they're cute. Like, come on, packaging, cute. Um, But I noticed well, I've been told by a lot of girls that follow me and support me that they do not know how to apply falsies. Been there, honey. Oh, wait, actually, okay, hold on, let me address this. I have one brow on. <laughs> like I said, it's like one in the morning and I want to give you guys, I want to show you guys. Bottom line of this video is I want to show you guys how to easily apply falsies um how to easily apply falsies like how to apply them the easiest way that i know how and the way that i learned how finally because i had many attempts and they were failed attempts as i'm sure many of you have had um because it just happens it happens it's a learning thing makeup is a learning process the thing is if you don't want to take the time to learn it then you don't have to it's not Makeup is not a necessity. You don't need it on a daily basis. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. I don't wear lashes on a daily basis. JK, I do. What Lashes is the one thing that I have to wear because I used to put mascara like just because I have pretty long natural lashes. But ever since like, I don't know. It's just like now it's funny because now applying falsies is easier for me than freaking like six coats of mascara like at this point lashes is just, just like a boom boom like a one two thing for me but that's what i want it to be for you ladies that really want to learn how to apply falsies and just don't and just don't know how and cannot get it down i want to show you so i have a whole freaking mess right here on my vanity but i want to show you guys so i have many styles of my lashes i mean i'm talking multiples um so if you guys are interested in my lashes go ahead and um follow on instagram the notorious lashes um where you can purchase some of my lashes i currently only sell in my area in my like city but i will soon be having um like what do you call it where you can ship it yeah like shipping and and all that stuff like i'll soon be getting that for the girls that do want to support me because i do have a lot of family members also that live like in texas live like um you know just like this like far away from me that it's not like driving distance um so i'll soon be getting that but in the meantime go ahead and follow my lash page um follow my makeup page and tori Silla, um to see all my updates and such okay so i'm gonna show you guys how to apply falsies and this is where i'm like okay this is how i'm gonna try to help you guys so I have some dramatic lashes, okay? It's different. It's different applying lashes when you're applying dramatic lashes and you're applying like not so dramatic lashes. Like Ardell's, let me tell you, if you're a beginner, you might wanna go with like Kiss lashes or Ardell lashes because they are known to have very thin and flexible bands. Now, if you're a beginner and you wanna get like some freaking mink lily lashes, lily lashes, they, they normally have like, a thick band and um Ilor, even at the drugstore they have a really thick band i mean i like Ilor lashes i don't know if you guys a lot of you guys know which lashes lash brand i'm talking about they're like the ones that they sell them at target like they're the like more cute mink looking lashes next to the ardell ones 
yeah those for some reason they have the freaking thickest lash band okay and i don't know why and they they're those are so hard to put on like i am i mean i wouldn't say i'm the most experienced at putting on lashes but i've been wearing lashes for like six years maybe like seven i don't know since high school yeah um but those those lashes are hard to put on so if you're a beginner i'm talking like you've never put a lash on before do not get lashes that the band looks extremely thick i wish we had an example but i don't mess with those kinds of lashes honey like i need lashes that i can apply quick see my lash bands are in between they're not too thick and they're not too thin they sit right on top of your lash band if you have a wing no wing they look great but i have styles that are a little more dramatic for girls that already know how to put on lashes they like that more dramatic look they like you know that more bold lash thicker lashes usually need a thicker band because the band has to hold the lash hairs on the you know on the strip thin bands can hold thin lash hairs so it doesn't like typically a thin band will be a very thin and like simple lash for example this this one might be a thicker band for some people um still very flexible but it is a thicker band than you know like to compare to Ardell because it's a thick lash so this is my lash in style mariposa um it's a thick lash and let me show you the band the band is very flexible very flexible i mean as you can see but it is thicker so what i mean by thick is that this right here this little rim it's not thin and see-through like uh, an ardell lash would be or a kiss lash it's thick enough to hold all the hairs on this foamy lash because it's a lot of hairs and it's not heavy on the eyes but it just would look very odd if it was a lot of hairs and a really thin band. It wouldn't hold it and your lashes would not last long. I mean, you would get max two uses out of a thin band, whereas a thicker band, it's, you know, you're applying glue on your lash band, so it's, it just holds up better. Um, with my experience, that's what I've noticed. Um, and then I do have thinner lashes where I'll show you guys my most simple pair and you'll see the difference um, right away. I don't have my acrylic, so I have to like open this with a tweezer. Um, so this is a thinner lash. This band is more flexible. As you can see here, it's very, I mean, very flexible. This band, you can see in between the hairs. So although the band looks thick on this angle, there's glue on it, so sorry about that. But it's a, actually a very thin, it's a very thin band. Like it's not thick at all. You can see how how thin it is and how, it's just very, I wouldn't, flimsy is not the right word, but it's very like, it's just very flexible. Like it molds your eye shape a lot easier because this is a more simple lash. This is not a heavy lash, it has, you know, it's more natural than that lash that I showed you. So the hairs on it are not so heavy. It doesn't need a very thick lash band. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys how to apply a thicker lash and how to apply a more simple. Sorry about that. Um, I'll show you guys how to apply a thin lash and then a more thick lash, more dramatic lash, simple, thick, so you guys can see the difference in the application. Um, this is my way of applying lashes. I know there's a ton of videos out there about how to apply faux lashes or um, falsies, but I mean, whatever is easier for you, whatever works for you. If you take anything from this video, if I can teach you anything, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, this is how I learned. This was the easiest way for me, so I just want to show you guys, you know, an easy way to attempt at um, applying falsies. Okay, so before we begin, I do want to... I do want to say that every eyelash, and this is where, oh my god, like, this is, if I have to have one pet peeve about, like I said, and everyone has their own way of wearing lashes, but if I have to have one pet peeve about wearing, about somebody wearing lashes, and they say, oh my god, they poke me, or, or they're so uncomfortable, they itch my eye, or, or, you know, these are in the, la these are not good lashes for my eye shape, nine times out of ten, 
I ask them how do they apply their lashes and they tell me that they just take them out of the packaging. I'm talking like Like, this is one thing I want to like, make very clear. Not everybody has the same eye shape. Some people have droopy eyes, some people have almond shaped eyes, some people have more cat eye shaped eyes. Like, there's so many different shapes of eyes. So when companies sell eyelashes, they, they sell them at a specific length of eyelash. Typically, it's longer than what your eye, your eye shape would be. Um, if it fits your eye band perfectly and you don't fit, you don't feel it poking anywhere on the sides or, or whatever it is. I'm trying to look for one with, here we go. If you don't feel it, if you don't feel it poking you anywhere, then that's great. You know, that means you have the shape, the perfect shape for, you know, those lashes, those specific lashes. But I just do want to make one thing clear. Eyelashes come in the packaging in order in a way for whoever it does not fit, they're able to trim them to the size of their eye. Now I know that sounds dangerous because scissors, lashes, eyes, that's not a good combination. But what you do when you get a brand new set of lashes is you have to see it, okay? You have to look at the lashes. And I don't know if you, can, you guys can see this here, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's an extra piece of the band. Every eyelash has it it's right here if your eyelashes don't have that now I would be kind of concerned because that means they probably have been used and cut to somebody else's eye shape all of the eyelashes I've ever used have little spaces like that so that I am able to trim it to my eye shape if your eyelash is poking you it's because you need to trim it a little bit more and you always want to trim it you can see where the eyelash would where it would be the outer corner of your eye for the eyelash and the inner. So you can see it's more defined over here, more voluminous, it's thicker, and then it starts to go a little bit thinner and shorter to where you would apply it in your inner corner. You never wanna cut it in the inner corner, never, because the eyelashes in the inner corner are small and they come here small in the inner corner. That way you can tell which one's the right and which one's the left. You always want to trim it from the outer corner because that's where the longer eyelashes are. And they, they're they long for like the first three big chunks. So you can trim it and it'll still look long. So you always want to trim it on the edge, the outer edge of the lash when it comes in the packaging, if it doesn't fit your eye. Now, that's one tip. Um, if they do fit your eye shape though, Go ahead and you know take them out of the packaging, use them. But you, like I said, they usually come with that little extra piece of fabric of the band. So you want to trim that because that could be why it's poking you. Because that fabric, the littlest little line or strip of fabric that's on that band and it's poking you, it's irritating you because your eye is very sensitive. So you don't want to have it poking you because your eyelash, your eyes gonna get watery through the day. I've been there, I've done that. Till this day, I don't cut my eyelashes. You know, don't beat yourself up for it because I still don't cut my eyelashes the, the length for my eyes sometimes. Sometimes it does poke me and then I'll take them off and I always carry glue with me because sometimes I, you know, girl, like if you wear lashes, you have to carry glue with you. That's one thing. Um, but we all make mistakes. You know, it's a learning process. Putting eyelashes is not, you don't, you do not perfect it. But anyways, let's get into the lashes. So the first thing you need to do before you apply lashes, well in my case, is I always need to apply mascara. Because if I apply lashes to my natural lash, my natural lashes grow in a downward angle. So they don't, they won't hold anything. I mean, not a thing. So I need to curl them. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Sorry if you guys get like really weird angles of me. Like, I don't care though, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. And see, I don't curl them. I don't like crazy curl them. Like, I just like lightly so that they look a little, you know, enhanced. Ooh, let me my eye watery. Okay. You don't wanna curl them too much because let me tell you, if you, uh, if you curl your eyelash too much, if you have long eyelashes and you curl them way too much, you leave no space for you to maneuver your eyelash 
on your eyelid because now your real eyelashes are in the way. And the last thing you want to do is glue your eyelash on your eyelashes because the moment it comes to taking it off at night and homegirl, you rip your eyelash, expect to tear up because it's, it's a little bit painful. Like, I mean, try ripping a freaking eyelash out. You know what I mean? Um, it hurts. So I, I curl them a little bit and then I always apply mascara in a thin coat. You don't need nothing thick. All you need to do is coat them because, you know, I don't know if you guys put like eyeshadow on or whatever, but I put eyeshadow on before I put, or sometimes when I do put eyeshadow powder, translucent powder, whatever it is, it lands on your real eyelashes. So you want to coat them with a black mascara. Um, your eyelashes, if they come brown, you can do brown mascara, but not, they usually come black. So you want to do black mascara. Um, you're just going to coat where that powder fell. So I just do a very light coat. Nothing heavy because we don't need anything crazy. We're, we're gonna apply falsies, so you don't need to like crazy coat them. And I will say, I've been wearing eyelashes for a long time and my eyelashes are still the same length they've always been. They're still really long. Um, there's no crazy dents in them or whatever. I don't know. They're still the same. Okay, so we're gonna apply the lash. So I'm gonna start with um, the really natural lash, and I have like, I mean, this one is kind of nasty, but I have like glue on it, like from old glue. But I'm like totally about to go to sleep after this, so I'm not trying to do all that work right now. So, eyelash glue. There's many eyelash glues on the market. Um, you can get whichever one that you've tried and maybe you like, or if you don't know a good one, I always use this one. This one's the only one that really works for me. Um, there's a couple other brands that work for me, but some of them hurt when you take them off. I mean, some of them I've tried and they're like freaking real freaking glue, like it hurts to take it off. This one does not hurt me. Um, all eyelash glue is annoying. I'm gonna be straight up. All eyelash glue stays in your eyelashes if you get it on there. All eyelash glue is hard to take off. Doesn't matter how how hard you scrub with the wipey, like it's just, it's annoying. Um, I use the Duo glue. It's just the clear one and the little um, brush applicator. I don't use a squeezy bottle anymore because I used, I used to use that one a lot and that's still a good one. People complain about the scent, but I'm not over here sniffing my lashes. So that's not a big deal to me. Um, but I just, the applicator just kind of sucked. Like, I mean, sometimes I would, I would like squirt it on my lash and it would just go all over the hair. When there's eyelash glue on the hairs, it kind of just, it messes it up. Like it messes up the eyelash. So it's just, it sucks. You have to like clean it and it's a big old headache. Um, hold up, I'm getting confused real quick. <laughs> okay, but so yeah, we're gonna apply the natural one this is my lash this is in the style amor it's a newer lash that i came out with this is the thinner lash band the one i was showing you guys earlier with a very flexible thinner band um so the way i do it um i'm gonna see if i can get you guys closer for this okay so i'm sorry i keep freaking getting calls right now when i'm doing a video but whatever um so yes you're gonna want to get really close to the camera i mean to the mirror i'm sleepy <laughs> um so you're gonna want to get really close to the mirror unless you have like super freaking good vision i have 20 20 and i still need to get close to the to the mirror so you're gonna get your glue okay i don't know if this is clear i'm so sorry this is on an iphone so you know it's just i gotta work with it homegirl so i'm gonna show you guys the lash okay I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna record it the other way around and then talk on it so I can just show you guys like what I'm talking about. Okay, so hold it. Okay, you guys. Hello. So I'm sorry if this is like a super bad angle, but here is a lash. It's a better view. It's always nicer from the back um, camera on the phone. But I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna open the duo glue. Mine's all rusted, dusted, and busted. But yeah it really doesn't matter okay so i'm gonna get the glue and you're just gonna want to like i kind of like um dab my applicator in there and so on the lash band of the lashes okay this is kind of hard to do when you're looking at it through the um, camera so i'm just gonna apply the glue in a really light layer light enough but to where you can still see it so i already feel like the brush kind of was getting dry 
Um, so I'm gonna just apply a little more. And you can see that I'm applying it. It's crazy because the glue is white, but it, it appears kind of bl um, blue on the band. I really don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I can you can see here that it's kind of evenly coated. And you really don't need a lot. Like, it doesn't need to look chunky. It just kind of needs to look evenly spread. So, the good thing about this glue is that when it dry, when it looks this color, like, whitish blue, I don't know if you guys can see, it has, like, a blue tint. Um, that means it's, it's still fresh and it's not ready to be applied to the lash band. It will start getting clear. You'll actually start to not be able to see it once it starts to dry. You do not want it to get to that point. You want it to you want it to start looking like it's appearing to be getting clear, but it you do not want it to be like completely gone. If it's completely gone, that means you need to apply a little more glue because chances are if you put it on your eye, it's not gonna stick. Um, so you can see here that you can still see the blue. I know it's kind of hard to tell because I didn't take the glue off. That's so totally my bad. It's so ratchet, but when you stop to see that little blue hue that it has when it's not there anymore that means it's ready to apply so i'm gonna bring you guys in back it normally takes i want to say i'm gonna give you guys like a second estimate it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to dry it's not that long i don't know how people be letting their lashes dry for one freaking minute if i go past 30 seconds i have to reapply glue so just to be on the safe side count to freaking 10 you know, count to 10 and it should be dry enough to put in your eye. Like, I'm being really honest. It's really tacky and it will stick to your eye. So I'm going to turn you guys back around. Okay, guys. So that's as good as it's going to get right now because, I don't know, this whole camera thing is like, it's annoying, bro. Okay. So my glue is looking pretty clear, pretty gone. Um, so I'm going to apply it. And it will stick. Um, if it's gone... You need to put a little more, but I could still see mine. So I let it dry for like 10, 15 seconds, and now I'm gonna apply it. You're gonna need to use tweezers to apply it to your lashes, okay? So I'm gonna get it like this from the outer corner, and I'm going to lay it on my eye like this. I'm just gonna lay it there, okay? Right there, okay? So it's stuck. It's tacky enough to stick wherever you place it. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it from the outer corner and don't be afraid to use the tweezer, tweezers next to your eye because it's as long as you, you have control of the tweezers, it shouldn't be scary. So I already placed it in the outer corner. It's stuck because the glue is tacky enough. So now I'm gonna put it in the outer corner. All I have to do is press it down. That's all I have to do. And the eyelash is on. It's on, you can adjust it where, however you want it. If you want it to look a little more, you have time. That's what I love about this glue. You have time to adjust it. You have all the, I mean, what is it, all the time. But within those 10 to 15 seconds, and the glue is still a little bit wet, but it's still, it's already getting tacky and it's already getting dry. You can, you can fix it, adjust it, and apply it to your eyelash. You know, you can move it however you want it. If it doesn't work the first time, take it off and try it again. The only time it'll mess up your makeup is if you have wing liner, but you can always just take off your lash, reapply the liner, let it dry a little bit, and then put on your lash. Like, it's not a big deal, but that's all you do. You just put the glue on your lash band. After you've measured it to your eye, you always want to measure it to your eye. Make sure it's your, you know, if it's your eye shape. If it doesn't, if you feel like it's going to poke you, if it just doesn't look like it's aligned right, trim it on the outer corner, only the outer corner. Um, that's what works for me. This is a more natural lash. I'm going to apply a more thick one. I'm going to take this one off and I'm gonna, going to apply. I'm not going to do nothing on this side because, girl, there ain't no makeup on this eye and I ain't trying to have no makeup on this eye. So we're going to do this one. Okay. So that was the natural lash. This is in the style Amor. Um, like I said, I'm so sorry that this is not like super clear, but I mean, you guys can kind of get the gist of it. Um, it's really that easy. I mean, as long as you measure it right to your eye, it's not poking you anywhere. You just let the glue get a little bit tacky. Count to 10 seconds. It shouldn't be more than that. Maybe 15 if you applied a little too much glue. Um, but it really has to just, it just has to be like a really thin line of glue. And you just kind of wait till it starts to clear, clear up a little bit. I'm talking like clear as in like look, like see through, like you can't see it anymore. 
don't let it get to that point but once you start seeing that it's starting to clear up other than look white or like this bluish tint um that's when you know you could go ahead and apply it you have time to move it around when once you place when it's in the right stage where it's like tacky and it's ready to be stuck to your eye you'll know because as soon as you place it it's staying where you're going to place it tweezers are your friend here you have more control with the tweezers near your eye than you think you do you just grab the lash on the outer corner whichever way you're comfortable holding it to put it on your eye i like to hold it like this you see my hand not like this because if you hold it like this you're going to go in like that and that's kind of awkward so you want to get it like this like let's say this it's right here i'm going to get it like this this is the outer the outer corner of the lash that way when i put it on i just place it so it's it's really easy um yeah but that's it's on like it's not lifting anywhere um it's on like she's on and if you feel this is what i do too sometimes i don't apply enough glue or it gets a little too dry in the outer corners it's your if it's your glue and you're not using it on anybody else you can always just go in get your glue wipe off a little bit of the excess because the band the brush is really thin you just go in you can pinch the outer corner if there's not enough glue pull it down and just tap it just tap it wherever you see that it's lifting and normally you don't really have to wait for that part because it's already tacky under where you just apply that little bit of glue it's just gonna help you like seal it in um, so you just press it in just press it into that spot that it wasn't completely glued onto and now whatever part was lifting it's now it's stuck on so you're good to go so I'm gonna take this one off and then I'm gonna come in with a more bold lash so I can show you guys how to apply that one it's really the same method um, but I guess these can be kind of harder to maneuver but really it's just the same method all over again okay guys so I'm gonna show you guys here and now as you can see compared to the last recording that we did or the last time you guys saw the lash it was way more blue than this so as you can see it's starting to get clear it's starting to get like where the blue is there but it's barely there so this is a very good time where we can go ahead and apply the lash so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do so like I said I'm gonna show you guys the example of it being in my hand what the? I don't know what was that but whatever okay so I, I'm gonna pretend like it's right here okay you can set it down like as long as the glue doesn't touch your hand you're fine and I'm going to get the lash band from the outer corner just like this okay you can I mean you can adjust it you don't have to be perfect with it I'm gonna get it just like that and then I'm gonna take it to my eye and I'm gonna apply it and like I said you have a lot more control with the tweezers than you think you do so you can already tell these are a lot more dramatic um, so I'm gonna start adjusting it so I always go in with the outer corner first to see where I want to place it So the outer corner is set and stuck and now I'm going to go in with the inner and if it's in the right tackiness it'll just sit there exactly where you place it at. And then you can go in and you can tap it with your finger to make sure you know if you don't want to put too much pressure with the tweezers go ahead and check double check by doing it with your fingers. Okay, so this one is in the style mariposa this is a very dramatic lash not for the faint of heart i mean this is for when you're feeling real bad and real bougie and you know you want to stunt on them with these lashes girl you're trying to take flight on them with these lashes these would not be my everyday lashes but honey when you're feeling real dramatic real ready to stunt on them these are bomb okay so these are a heavier lash these are a heavier band um but it's really the same method like if they're if they're light and they're thin it's that method that works for me if they're thick and they're dramatic it's that method that works for me so i hope you guys you know took something from this video i hope you guys learned something i'm gonna take off this lash because i feel a little pathetic but i'm gonna let you guys get a look at it really quick before i take it off um i probably applied it like super sloppy right now but this is the easiest way that I know how to apply it. It works for me every single time. Um, you just let the glue get tacky. That's all it is. You just let the glue get tacky. Once it's tacky, 
you place it on if it's too dry it will not stick um so you just you just gotta like trial and error just keep trying it out practice i, I promise you by like the second or third time you'll probably have it down like it's really not brain science um it's 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 easy like i do this now faster than i apply in mascara like, you saw i was breaking coating it and whatever and the great thing about eyelashes especially faux minks and my lashes is they're great for 15 to 20 wears with proper care you take your glue off of the lash once it's done because it does start to build up um you'll know when it's thick enough for you to pull off just be gentle because the lash band it's 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 strong enough to hold your wares but when you're tugging at it it could rip i mean it's a very it's a very delicate thing i mean it's just you know eyelashes on a band so it's not that durable but it will last you a good amount of time and um uh, you know a good amount of wears with the proper care so you just want to like you know treat your eyelashes right if you want them to last you for a long time because a lot of them are not cheap i know y'all be splurging on them lily lashes and homegirl why you know why spend you know 30 to 40 dollars on lashes when you can get really bomb ones at 12 to 10 to 14 dollars you know like i don't know you know i'm just saying <laughs> but hey to each their own i've spent a pretty coin on eyelashes before but you know we all like i said we all live we all learn some eyelashes yep there it's the hype it's always the hype but every eyelash the application is the same if you really you know want to learn how to put it on you will and it's it shouldn't be that hard um like i said you'll come across really difficult lash bands to put on but that that happens everywhere i mean sometimes some are just not as wearable as others and then sometimes you'll come across like a super easy lash that you're like oh my god where has this lash been on my life i feel like it's so natural and it's so easy and it's my everyday lash we all have those those terrible ones that we get and we all have those favorites so it's all just a matter of trying things out yourself so i'm gonna take it off so easy to take off but it'll last you all day i swear i love this glue well that's it for this video um i hope you guys took something from it i hope you guys learned a little something i hope this was clear enough for you guys to see i know it's not super close um up and personal but you know it's i Think you guys kind of got the idea so i hope you guys keep watching my videos and i know i don't post frequently but i'm gonna keep trying your girl just invested in a macbook so i'm gonna start uploading my videos start editing editing them better and yeah so if you guys want to see more videos please subscribe to my channel share the videos whatever you want to do you know i i accept all love and hate homegirl has no issues with her body with her personality or with her hustle so don't ever get it twisted i'm here to stay and to slay all day um but yeah so i hope you guys love it or leave it hate it or whatever that's up to you guys but i show you guys a lot of love and i shoot you guys a lot of love and so thank you thank you all for supporting me see you in the next video